Lick number 67. Uh, this is measure 11 of the um, of the progression, and it's to return to the uh, to the one chord. And the lick is this: one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's it. It's not. This is one measure. Uh, so what we're going to do is use the first finger at the fifth fret of the third string, and we're going to do a blues bend, quarter step bend about, and we're going to stop the pitch at the top. Um, at the top of the bend, we want a little bit of a, a cut off, so we want. Then I'm cutting with just by just putting the pick on the string again. Uh, then we're going to play it a second time. That next time, we're going to go down to the next string, so the pick's going to have to be placed on the fourth string. So it's going to be one of those uh, situations where the tip of the index finger flesh will cut off the sound of the third string. A little bit of the middle finger, too, there. Uh, the tip uh, of the fingers, uh, the flesh of them. So, so we have right there. So the first one... We cut with the pick. Second one we play, and I'm cutting that with the flesh of the middle finger that time. Middle or index works. Then we play the uh, third finger at the seventh fret of the fourth string. Uh, these are all down picks on this lick, by the way. Uh, so that seventh fret of the fourth string again is this note with vibrato. Now with vibrato, we want to have a rocking motion. Uh, I've talked about this before, but three contact points are the, the base of the first finger under the neck, the thumb at the top of the neck, and then wherever whatever note you're playing, tip of the finger. Um, and you want you want to get this kind of motion going, rocking motion. You don't want it to just be wiggling the string. Uh, this is a rock or blues type vibrato. Uh, one of the techniques to do it, anyways. And it's a rocking kind of mo motion. So we're doing this. Now, if you rock, if you had a first finger vibrato, you have more room to to pivot your your hand. Uh, second finger, a little less room. Third finger, you get a little bit restricted on how far you can pivot. And fourth finger, if you did a fourth finger vibrato, you have a a, a lot of uh, restriction. Uh, you could just pivot just a little bit. But on the third finger, we get you know, a little bit a little bit of pivoting we can do. So again, that note. Uh, well, we play it up up to there. So we have the the two notes on the third string, fifth fret, the bends, stopping it with the pick, stopping it with the fle uh, flesh tips of the index and or middle finger of the pick hand. Then we play the seventh fret of the fourth string with vibrato, all down picks. Now we're going to play the fifth fret of the fourth string with a down pick, and we're going to hammer the seventh fret. So, so far we have... Then we're going to play the fifth fret again of the fourth string, the first finger. Then third finger, we're going to do the um, blue scale notes of descending. So seventh fret of the fifth string with the third finger, down pick. Uh, sixth fret of the fifth string with the second finger, down pick. Fifth fret of the fifth string. Uh, with a down pick with the first finger. So we have just doing that. So, so far we have and the last couple of notes, we're going to drop position down to the third position, third fret with the first finger, and we're going to hammer to the sec second finger. This is the fifth string, third fret, the fourth fret, first to second finger. Doing that. So you play the third fret, and you hammer to the fourth fret. And the last note, we're going to play the fifth fret of the sixth string with the third finger with vibrato. So all together, this lick is one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's it for lick number 67.